Hi guys, today I'm going to show you how to make JFX work with Eclipse. Now, <clears throat> there are a lot of people over the internet who have complaints that they can't use the JavaFX, the open, particularly the open JFX library with Eclipse. This is, I know this because I once struggled with a similar situation myself, but I found a solution and I'm here to share that with you guys today. So, <clears throat> first of all, you're going to want to go over to the JFX website linked in the description below, and you want to scroll down here to download, and it'll take you to this page right here. You want to download the latest release, not the early access builds, because these could potentially be unstable. So you just want to get the latest release if you just want some that works. I mean, if you want to experiment, this is fine, but just go with this for now. Now my version is slightly different. I have a slightly older version, but it uh, shouldn't make a difference. So <clears throat> once you've done that, you want to extract your files, which should be in your downloads folder or wherever you saved it. You should see a folder that looks like this, open JFX12. You want to open that folder. You want to open, you want to go to lib, and you should see all these executable jar files in here. So remember these lo the location of these files and the location of your downloads, it will come back. So <clears throat> just to show you how to configure this, I'm going to create a new project in Eclipse. And we're going to call it window test so I have the <clears throat> I have the JDK 11.0.3 this might not work with JDK 12 and above I've tried it before I've had issues getting it to work with that so if you would just want something that works then go with the JDK 11 if you want to download this directly from Oracle you're gonna need <clears throat> you will need to create an Oracle subscription but uh, if they ask, the hardest part of that is creating, is getting a company name, and uh, really you can just type anything, it doesn't matter. So, go on to next, and you want to make sure this text box right here, this box right here is checked, create module info.java file. You need this, or it won't work. So go ahead and finish, and we're going to go ahead and create a module for our project. Actually, a package, what am I saying? And so we're going to create a class for this. And we're going to call it main. Or a generic name, but okay. And uh, we want to go into window test up here in properties. And we want to select the module path, add external JARs. You want to navigate over to where you saved your Java FX SDK. I saved it in my downloads folder. So yeah, you want to go to the lib file again. And you want to select all the jar files. I mean, you can only you <clears throat> you can choose only to select the files you need if you really want. But I'm just showing you how the library works. So for the sake of this tutorial, we're just going to throw them all in. And so we want to apply these changes. And <clears throat> then we want to go to our module. And we want to import these libraries. So to do that, we use a command called requires requires java fx dot base require java fx dot controls requires java fx dot and you basically just want to <clears throat> for the sake of this video I'm just going to import all of them Yeah, once you've imported all of these, you can get to writing your program. I've already written a program for this that I prepared for the purposes of this video. It's right here. And uh, so we're just going to go paste it in here. And since I've... <clears throat> Since I've changed the name of a few things, I need to change the names up a bit. 
And once you've done with that, go over here. <clears throat> and uh, Editor. I wonder what's going on here. So window. Oh, I think I know what the problem is. To make this class public. Oh yeah, I forgot to export our libraries. And so we've created our generic window right here. So that is how you get the JFX libraries to work. I hope you help. I hope that helped you out, guys. Link in the description will be <clears throat> to the downloads of all my code that I used in this video, and it will be released under a CCO license, meaning you can use it for your own projects if you wish. So that's all for today, guys. Hope to see you next time.